Hello, my name is Andrew Kohlbeck. I'm a solutions consultant, project manager, and subject matter expert in reporting here at Tegra Consulting Group. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to use dynamic date ranges when creating custom reports in Eloqua's Insight reporting module. Currently, dynamic date ranges aren't native functionality in Insight, but Oracle has mentioned that they are building that functionality and will be available in an August 2018 release. Until then, we can use the technique demonstrated in this video to accomplish dynamic date ranges. We've created this sample report, including a date attribute and a send metric, just so that we can see when we run the results, we have all time results included here. If we wanted to add a dynamic date range filter to the report, we can do so by hovering over the gear, selecting filter, or selecting the add filter button here and choosing the date attribute if it's already a column. And if it's not already a column, we can choose the more columns and then choose the date attribute in this manner. Once we select the date attribute, we'll be presented with this new filter window. From here, we can choose greater than or equal to, and then click add more options in SQL expression. I'm going to create an expression that'll include only the data from the last week. So we can use current underscore date minus seven to include data only from the last seven days. If we go to the results tab, we'll now see that the results are updated to only include data from the past week. If you're interested in using other time span intervals, you can use the timestamp add function and if we come here, we can see the different timestamp intervals that we have available to us, such as week, month, quarter, and year. Additionally, to do even more complex date ranges, we can add a second filter. And for example, I've commonly asked for a report showing only yesterday's data. So in order to accomplish that, we can do a less than SQL expression for the current date and update the greater than or equal to filter to be for current date minus one. This will include data from yesterday at midnight up until this morning at midnight. So if we go to the results tab, we can see that the data will be updated to only include data from yesterday. 